and somehow my phone quit working but I just want to show you that to get the movement off this plate there's pins that you were to pull to get the movement off the plate there's not a pen on this one as you could see but you want to take pictures prior to taking a movement apart that way you know how to put it back together um, I say that over and over again I know it's being redundant but every time I work on a clock I take pictures because it might be a couple months before I get back to that clock and uh, I want to be able to remember or I can't remember I want to be able to know whether or not that clock had certain parts so there's the movement and you want to take pictures all the way around. Being this is a uh, a small uh, clock, um, again, there's the maker if you could see it. Willis Mio Schleckener Jr. I'm not for sure on the uh, first word. Uh, maybe it's W.A. Schmid Schleichner Jr. But anyway, uh, to take the power down, you can put a zip tie around the spring. And then release the uh, spring in the zip tie and that way you're not going to get hurt but we're going to go ahead and take it apart off camera and uh, I'll get back to you here I have it working I just need to uh I uh, decide whether I want to put some different dolls on or dancers on. I've got some for some cuckoo clocks. I might do that. It's a pretty cool clock. This gear catches the gear inside and which causes it to uh, to rotate. Except for when I am pointing around and everything. I still need to put the pins back in uh, to hold the movement onto this plate. And I'm trying to repair the uh, case itself. The case itself is, is uh, messed up. It's cheaply made. Um, glue is all coming apart it's kind of neat how some of it's designed they got this slot in here to put these gate posts in and so uh, they actually are just friction bit in there But, like I said, it's, some of it's kind of neat. Um, of course, it's missing windows. And, uh, but, again, it was free. Gives me something to do. Another clock uh, under my belt. Trying to figure out how it works. I hope y'all like this uh, video. I'll put it back together and you can see it working. I got this package of uh, dancers at a Versailles auction last year. 
and uh, I think these couples are going to look better than that lady. So that's what I'm doing. Here I got the movement back in the case. It is running away. I don't have the uh, back cover on yet. I don't have the dials on. But um, we're getting there. Pretty cool. Not bad for a free clock. Uh, first kind that I've seen. Again, it's made in Germany. Um, I can't remember the guy's name. Something Junior. But, again, not bad for a free clock. What do y'all think? God bless.